Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. Always excited to open these shiny ones because they're always something awesome. There's only one company that ever uses this stuff and I know who it is, at least I'm pretty sure. Thanks so much to the mystery company, who we're about to find out who it is, for sending this in for me to take a look at. Whatever it is, I will try to link it right down in the description. Presumably, by the time you're watching this, it will be available, so make sure and check down there uh, if you want to pick it up. Uh, thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram, excuse me, at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's see what we've got. Um, so a, a burp that... Uh, <laughs> Just didn't want to come all the way out. Is it more than one thing? It is. It's not one. It's two. It's two Max Ace knives. Awesome. And a pocket clip that somehow escaped the... It got out. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What do we have here? Do we have two of the same thing? We got the Meerkat and the Black Mirror. Okay, hold on here. The Black Mirror is definitely one that I've handled before. If you don't know, the Max Ace Black Mirror is definitely one of the best bang for your buck knives ever. I mean that, ever. The Black Mirror is truly amazing. I will have links for all variations of the Black Mirror down in the description. It really is an awesome price for what it is. Um, I'm happy to have one back because I um, either gave away or sold uh, whoops, we got to open it up. Gave away or sold the first one that was sent to me, and I really um, regret that because it was such a good EDC profile. I think this is a new variation, and if it is what I think, I will be very, very happy. Okay, so we have extra hardware, typical Maxay stuff. Ooh, spicy. We got Spicy Boy, my favorite new combination material, which is the copper carbon fiber. But wait, I think there is a fantastic detail about this boy. Let's take a look. That's right, it's in freaking S90V. What could make the Black Mirror even better? Make it with S90V, dear God. That is so epic, I'm keeping this one. I am not letting this one go. This is such a ridiculously good, wait, seriously, wait till you see the price on this. Like most people know, but wait till you guys see the price. If you don't know, wait till you see the price on this thing. Can you, yeah, you can totally thumb flick it. It's easier to reverse flick it, but Man, what a great knife. Such an awesome knife. Titanium and then the copper carbon fiber, mascus, whatever you want to call that. Nice, tumbled, fully flat ground, sheep's foot S90V blade. That's just absolutely fantastic. Really, really cool. I'm so glad they decided to do a version of these uh, in M390. The weirdest thing about this is the contrast with the brass uh, pivot collar, pocket clip, and backspacer. That is so weird with the copper carbon fiber. I mean, fine. I, you know what? Pink and yellow, sure. Um, but it's such a weird combination. I wish that they had done blue, but I don't know. Whatever. I, honestly, at the for the price, I really it's just not something I can complain about. I am so happy to have a black mirror back. That is just really cool. And you know, the bonus with Max Ace knives is you always get additional hardware. So that's just awesome. Is this perhaps no? It looks like this is a bonus clip for the Meerkat. What would be funny is if this clip is for neither knife and they just accidentally put it in the box. Okay, this is very, very good. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, now the Meerkat is something different. I think I've seen a picture of this knife, but I, I honestly just can't remember exactly what it looks like. Okay, oh, we got another, another EDC profile boy. Okay, so this one has a little bit of, um, you know, a little less like color. Everything is all one color, which honestly I kind of prefer. We have, I think maybe a thicker frame, slightly, slight, is it? Yeah, slightly thicker. We definitely still have the opening hole, right? Knowing Max Ace, this is also an inexpensive knife. Well, very easy to deploy, excellent. We have a blasted and some sort of machine satin finish there. And this is also in S90V. Oh, Max Ace. Pre assuming that this guy is priced as well as this guy, this one also makes me happy. 
This kind of reminds me of like a a more utilitarian Spyderco Techno. The Spyderco Techno was a cool knife, but it was just awkwardly small and chunky and just needed to be a little bit longer. This is almost that. Actually, you know, for a short knife, I've got my pinky sliding off the end. For a shorter knife, this is pretty comfortable. The other thing that I like about the Meerkat over the Black Mirror, this is great for like the front. I mean, it's honestly not ideal for a front deployment. You almost have to kick it out sideways. You can do it, but it's easier to reverse lick it. The only problem is, is that access to the hole is slightly hindered by the fact that this is, this hole is, is partially covered by the lock bar. Not enough to really stop it, but it's fine. This guy, that's not the case. You have complete and total access to that whole giggity from either side, um, which is really cool. The edge, well, I don't know. Actually, it kind of tapers down a little bit thinner than I would have thought. Oh, it's plenty slicey. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's uh, absolutely ready to go. I think, though, the Black Mirror is still... Yeah, the Black Mirror is still the slicing king between the two. That is just a wonderfully... Wonderfully thin behind the edge blade. Really, really nice offerings from Max Ace. And, you know, Max Ace makes a lot of crazy stuff. But I always remind people, if you didn't know, they definitely do make um, more, uh, you know, utilitarian designs. Did they just send an extra pocket clip? Is there anything different about this pocket clip? I'm really curious. Let's, uh, everybody sit back and watch me finagle open this tiny Ziploc bag. So this is peak content. What is the difference? Is it slightly long? <laughs> is it just slightly longer? What's the... Oh! They were like, ah, oh, Metal Complex doesn't like that little boop de doop -de right there. I'm kidding. They probably did that just so that people could have their preference uh, for pocket clips. This one's going to be a little more pinchy. And this one's not going to be quite as pinchy, but it's going to slide over the pocket seam a little easier. That's actually kind of nice. It's also a little bit longer. I've never seen a company offer two different build clips. Milled titanium build clips, right? Max Ace makes some really, really nice stuff. And they always give you extra hardware. And, I mean, aside from their really wacky, gigantic stuff, because that's, that's on a different level, right? Their prices are actually pretty darn good. We're gonna weigh both of these knives really quick and then measure them. So just so you know, the Black Mirror coming in at 3.53 ounces, excellent. And the Meerkat coming in at 3.84 ounces, which doesn't surprise me because of the thicker titanium. We're also gonna measure them real quick. Meerkat S90V coming in at 6.85 inches blade length. 2.85 cutting edge. The cutting edge is actually three inches. So you could call the blade three inches. You see, I mean, my issue with measuring there because of the frame. And then the black mirror, I want to say this one's like seven and a quarter. Seven and a half blade length. Blade length's not bad. If you measured all the way back here, you got three and a half, at least 3.35. Cutting edge, about three and an eighth. Two excellent S90V offerings from Max Ace. You better believe these will be linked in the description. Check them out. Max Ace, thank you so much for sending these in. You can expect full comprehensive reviews of this of each of well, not this one, I've already reviewed it, but at least that one, the Meerkat, a few weeks from now. Um, so if you want to wait for, and hear what I think, great. If not, you can check them out in the description. That's going to be pretty much it for me today, guys. Please uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.